Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. I am sitting in my car. It is 6.40. I'm late for leaving for the airport, so I can't chat with you guys. I just gotta go. I will try to talk to you a little bit in the airport. I usually talk to you while I'm in the parking garage, but I don't think I'm gonna have time. My windows are fogged. I'm so hot. I'm alert! I just gotta go. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. You guys, I'm like scary late. There better not be a big line with checking in luggage. I'm so stupid. I didn't plan on traffic. Okay, green light. All right, I am where I get on the turnpike. I'm just nervous. If there's a long line and checking in bags, I am screwed. My boarding pass, though, did print out with pre-TSA, meaning I don't have to stand in line for security. I can just go right up to another entrance and go through security. So at least that's good. But you know, my other flights when I flew in the morning, they were really early flights. Like my flight was like at 6 a.m. and I was on the road at 3.30 or 4 and there was no traffic. Now it's 7 a.m. and there's people in this world. Apparently, people get up in the morning and go out to work. My light should be turning green soon, I hope. Oh, I'm just not into this. <laughs> this early morning stuff. My eyes are crying. I keep yawning. I slept okay. I probably fell asleep around midnight and I had my alarm set for 5.30. I woke up like every hour and I'd be like, oh, I have two more hours. I can try to sleep. Oh, green light. I made it. There's quite a few people around me, so I'm going to have to whisper a little bit. First of all, checking in the luggage, there was like two people ahead of me. That was it. So that was good. And then I wouldn't have even needed the pre-TSA check because there was hardly anybody in line there either. But I just zipped right through and I'm so tired. And I realized that I forgot an empty water bottle so I could fill up after going through security. I don't even know what time it is. Let me look. It's 7.50. I'll start boarding at 8.30. So I have time to rest. It looks like it might be a pretty full flight though. So I will try to sit on a window seat. I'm pretty sure if I go all the way to the back of the plane, I might be able to get one. And then I can record takeoff for you guys and landing in Baltimore. Then I think I have like a two hour layover there. So I'll chat with you some more there. Try to think of something that we can talk about. And oh, I wanted to bring my makeup with me. And I forgot I packed it with my suitcase. So it's gone bye bye. Um, so you will see me turn increasingly red as the day goes by. I should have just put my foundation in my purse. Ding dong, dum dum me. It's a nice airport because they have rocking chairs. I'll show you. I don't know if you can see, but there's a little like a little playhouse back there for kids. There's a pilot. Why are pilots always good looking? Well, you can't tell with him turned around. <laughs> Unless you think that part of him was good looking. Okay, granny rocking chairs. There's my terminal, number three. My plane is here. But good. They have uh, sections in this airport where you can lay down if you want. But they have couches and love seats and just all comfy cozy. And I'm sure many people have laid down and taken a nap, especially if they're stranded overnight. Alright, I'm gonna call my mother to let her know I made it to Portland okay, she worries so much, and text my son and tell him that so far so good. And I'll talk to you guys on the plane. My name's the very last row of the plane, it was the last seat available. I'm not on the wing, so I'll be able to show you take off and landing. I do have somebody sitting with me. I won't be able to chat too much.
Could you also please wait here with those seat belts past the tree table seat backs in the floor right left position? All those in your hands are stood or in front of you. You can area around your feet clear. Everyone was honoring those vets, and now I'm going to go on this conveyor belt thing. We so brave with my camera in the air. Where am I going? That's right. <laughs> she called me love. I'm not that kind of girl. <laughs> I have to go to the A gate, which is a mile away. So I'm glad I have time. My flight was excellent. I'm resting. I fell asleep on the plane a little bit and I woke up to the sound of what I thought was like change falling on the ground. So I you know, opened my eyes and the man next to me was looking at me. We had no one in between us, thank goodness. Oh, that was so much more comfy. And I looked at him and I go, it wasn't me. And he just looks at me and I said, I don't have any change. And he, he says, no, your water spilled. I had the water on the table between us and apparently I moved and knocked that over and it was the ice hitting the floor that I heard. So I felt a little bit stupid, especially since I'm sure it was my belly that caused the mishap. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's hot in this airport. <sighs> I see sailors. going up another conveyor belt. An uphill one. Whoa. I almost fell down. Everybody. Everybody wants to go by so they can be half a second faster at where they're going. It's just stupid. My face is getting red. I wonder what they do if I just started singing really loud. Wish I could do things like that. I do hate life. I don't even know if I was recording. I have um, to check my gates. Ah, I see screens. Come on. Memphis. One A. We're at one A. Now we're gonna do an escalator. Oh uh, yeah. Go. After you. <laughs> I hate escalators. <laughs> I did it. I'm such a grown up. Okay, my gate has already got a bunch of people, but I don't think it's my flight because I don't leave for like two hours. I gotta go find a place to just sit and relax. Where the heck can I go? Over there. I broke down. I bought myself a light lemonade at McDonald's because I forgot to bring my water bottle. I am bored out of my mind. But I'm sitting at a little table like this with nobody in the row. There's plenty of people around and I'm just hot and tired and bored. And I wanted a napkin to blow my nose because I don't travel with a tissue. Miss runny nose here and no tissue. Such a loser. I am super bored. Super bored! <sighs> I'm at the gate next to my gate. My gate has too many people at it. Should be boarding in about 
I don't know. Let me look at. Let me see what time it is. It's 12:20 p.m. and my flight leaves at 1:10, so we should be boarding in about a half an hour. I'm just anxious to be on the plane. I can't remember if I'm in section A. Let me look. Oh. My place in line is A60. They have sections A, B, and C. So I'm in section A, which means I will be able to probably pick any seat that I want. Southwest, you don't get seats assigned to you. Instead, they give you a place in line, and then everybody goes in order of their place in line, and you pick whatever seat you want. So I will be able to go to the end dish of the plane and grab a window and I think I'll grab window to my right this time give my neck a break I did check a piece of luggage it's free on Southwest two bags free and then I think only $25 for the third who the hell travels with three bags not this girl we'll probably just still sit toward the back I'm in no rush to get off the plane it's all just wait, 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 anyway. <sighs> oh my God. I'm very sleepy and I'm sure I will be asleep early tonight. There's a girl over there playing with a, a hula hoop. Let me see if I can show her to you. There she is. I should ask her if I can try it show her a couple of my moves. I could show her my hula hoop video. <laughs> wow, I can do that. I can do that too. I don't have my glasses on so I don't really see what she's doing. Get out of my way. Is that a pilot? Looks like a pilot. Is he good looking? Decent looking. Hi, pilot man. Don't you think we should have the right to smell our pilot's breath? I often wonder about that. I think they're a little bit more strict about pilots drinking and stuff. Don't you think they should be strict about that? Well, my eyes are crying because I'm yawning. Yeah, to me, you should be able to inspect your pilot. I'm just anxious to be sitting in Derek's new apartment, which I have not seen yet. And this is the first time that I fly, not concerned about my work. It's not like I'm losing any money. I'm not making any to lose. I think I'm going to, I don't know, what should I do? I'm just very tired. And this leg now is like two and a half hours. All right, I'm going to just talk to you on the plane. How am I holding up? Hey. It's supposed to be a full plane, so um, I should have people sitting with me. I don't know what to say, I'm tired. Who's coming in? I don't want anybody to sit next to me. I don't want all the room I can get. Down on the floor. She's telling everybody to pick a seat and make a friend. I'm not friendly. Don't befriend me. Let's do the air. Air conditioning, please. Can I put the middle person's air on me, too? Maybe I died in my sleep. Be a here to start the flight. So, uh, look at all the people still coming. Look at the Go away, people. I'm leaving my bag in the middle seat until everybody sits down, trying to look as unfriendly as possible. Go away, little boy. Go away, little boy. Next to me is cute, and he's like my age. I'm Bubba. Pull the red strap to open the container and move the pouch. Place the vest over your head, wrap the strap around your waist, buckle in front, and pull to tighten. 
We're, we're coming by to check that your seat belts are fast, your seat back and tray tables are in their full upright mount position. Now your carry-on items are completely under the seat in front of you or in an overhead bin, leaving the area around the seat clear. Smoking, including the use of electronic cigarettes not allowed on board, including the aircraft lavatory. Federal law prohibits tampering with, disabling, or destroying any smoke detector in an aircraft lavatory. Everybody's complaining that it's so hot in here. Don't let me snore next to a nice looking man.
Southwest Airlines land this flight crew would like you to first welcome to Cleveland. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> welcome to Memphis, folks. We're here. Barely Here's my bag. The one with the gray stripes on it. That one right there. We took it up for picture purposes. First time I want. Okay, like,